Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Take a Seat. Today I have DJ and Julianne with me, and we're going to talk about: Would you rather spend all your money on a wedding or a house after your wedding? Yeah, because you know a lot of people like when you're going to get married, you have to think about what happens afterwards, and sometimes people don't. But you do have to think about what happens afterwards, and both things are very expensive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. So you got married what, like two, three December, years ago? Yeah, December of 2019. Yeah, going on three years. So for you, how was your experience? Was it wedding? Or? Well, I I personally wanted it at, in Hawaii, but it's not practical to have a wedding in Hawaii. It's I think the the range of getting married in Hawaii is between like forty grand. I think that's the lowest you can go. But I mean, forty grand. That's forty. I can't, forty. That's a lot. Forty thousand. Right? Yes, forty thousand. Dollars. That's a lot of money. <laughs> See, that's a lot of money, and that's a good down that's payment. That's a down payment. <laughs> yes, exactly. On the house. Yeah. So where did you end up getting married? We got married in Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii. Because <laughs> you wanted to get married. Yeah, I wanted to get dream. married. That was my dream. But you know, we gotta be practical. Adulting. <laughs> I mean, so we um, we ended up getting married in the Philippines because his parents live in, and his media family lived. It, all of them actually lived in Guam, so it was easier to kind of just go get together. There. I would think it's expensive too because you have to travel to the Philippines. I mean, so. what's a grand to travel versus fifty grand for a wedding? Oh my goodness! So, so fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> and mind you, so you did save money overall. Oh yes, because I mean, photographers, your food, your stuff was like less than. 25 grand all together. That's still a lot less of than money. 20. I mean, that's still <laughs> a lot of money. Less than 20. Let's so. do less than 20. In the Philippines. Compared yeah. to like if you would have had it in Hawaii. Right, right. Yeah, because that's mm-hmm. true. Everything is expensive in Hawaii. Yeah. Wow. Don't get married. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to put Julie on the spot right now because she is actively. Um, preparing her, planning her wedding. Yeah, so I got <laughs> engaged last year. And I am getting married this year. And at first we were like, okay, let's just not buy a house. Um, but somehow we're buying a house. So. <laughs> Whew, it's a well, lot. you have to live somewhere. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And you know, if you asked me like 10 years ago, I would have been like just team wedding all day. It wouldn't have been even been any other option. I would have been like, yes, let's have our dream wedding mm-hmm. because <laughs> I'm a princess. You know? <laughs> and it's a once in a lifetime. It's a once exactly. in a lifetime. Exactly. I'm like, right. it's the one, one time I get to be the center of attention, mm-hmm. I think. And so. <laughs> hey, don't forget your husband, too. Exactly. Him, too. Sorry. Oh, um, yes, him, too. <laughs> I am a typical girl, so I'm very like, yes, you know, your wedding is like All when you get me. saved. Right. Yeah, whatever. I don't know why it's like that. But <laughs> yeah, but you know, last year after we got engaged, um, I'm an adult now, so I'm 29 years old. I had to think about like where we're gonna live afterwards. It wasn't like just about that day. We had a whole life ahead of us. Right, right. Um, and so, yeah, we started thinking about houses or like where to live. Should we just rent or whatever and things like that. And, and so we, at that point, in early in our engagement, I was like, okay, you know what? Forget the wedding. Let's just buy a house and have like the simplest whatever wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, earlier before this, we were talking about micro weddings or mi- yes. mini moni. Mini, mini moni. <laughs> yes. There's even, there is a word, guys. Mini moni. <laughs> a wedding with what, 10 people? Ten with people. 10 guests. Mm-hmm. 10 guests. <laughs> and so we did think about doing that after thinking about, oh, maybe we can buy a house, let's have a small wedding. Except that our families are huge, okay? <laughs> so after we were like, yes, let's buy a house and have this like simple wedding, whatever, the first thing we did was write down just family, like zero friends no family friends <laughs> it was like literally blood relatives that we could not have that day without them mm-hmm. um and uh his list was like 67 although yeah, he did forget have, a he few does, people so Nico it was does have higher, and mine was 95. <laughs> Wow. So, and that wasn't even like the whole family. That was just the people from my family that I didn't feel like That's I could That's already have that 150 day right there. Exactly. And so wow. after seeing that number, we were like, yeah, there's no such thing as a simple mini moni mm. micro wedding for us. <laughs> like, that's just not even an option because my engagement alone had 30 people. Who would you even have eliminated from that group? No one. Like, you couldn't. <laughs> right, right. So, you know, so after thinking about that, we were like, okay, we can't. If we're really gonna buy a house, we either like have to make compromises in the type of house or the type of wedding. And Mm -hmm. so 
Um, it was just like a whole thing. It's very difficult. It's a very interesting time to plan a wedding. Yes, during the I mean, you said you got engaged last year, right? Mm -hmm. So I mean, if you wanted to be practical, you could have had the micro wedding. Uh, it's pandemic. Um, it would have been a good time. <laughs> You don't yes. have to be, you, you don't have, you don't to, have feel to feel bad, bad about right. not inviting, you know, many people. So are you making it work then? Like, uh, how are you, it sounds like you're, both things are important. You don't want to spend too much on one. Yes. So, you know, the there was like a point where we were like, okay, we're not going to buy a house. Like, we'll just rent for now. Mm -hmm. No problem. We'll pay our dues. You know, it's part mm -hmm. of life. Um, but we were very blessed to like get this opportunity to buy a house that we actually really wanted and there was no reason for us to get it mm -hmm. except that it was offered to us and we were like what and so that's why we ended up in that situation because I was already like you know what let's be practical and not spend money when we might not even have it for both things because right. they're very major things in life <laughs> right <laughs> you know and so yeah with COVID in mind like it's been a very interesting time because we're having quite a large wedding, like I already said. But then my auntie called me one time and was asked, well, just, she was just like, yes, we're definitely gonna be there. We're RSVPing right now. It's gonna be great. But by the way, how many people are gonna be there? And then when I told her at the time, the number who had RSVP'd was 180, she, it just like <laughs> blew her mind. And so, you know, that was a really like eye-opening thing for me because in my mind, I was like, well, these people are important to us. And yeah. so we want them there. And that that was literally the end of my thought process. Mm -hmm. I didn't even like keep thinking. It was because it was just like they weren't optional. They mm -hmm. had to be there, you know? Um, but after she kind of like freaked out about that and I was like, man, you know, people are concerned about COVID. That's like, right. You don't even, I, I'm not, I wasn't even thinking about that. But now that you mentioned it, <laughs> yeah. yes, right. probably because yeah. some people are, you know, they probably wouldn't want to be. They have underlying yeah. conditions they have to right. think about. Especially with they live with. Exactly. Especially mm -hmm. with the Omicron variant that was mm -hmm. really, really easily spread. So. Right. And we like, we all got it. I mean, <laughs> let's be real. We're not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it is a real thing. And like, I don't, yeah. I'm not saying we shouldn't be concerned about it, but like, I feel like if we do our part yes. and they did their part, then it's, it's their not choice. Yeah, right. exactly. Like right. it's their choice. It's kind of like with the mini money. Like yeah. you can't well, feel guilty. You couldn't be there. Right. So it's the same right. thing. So even if, I mean, that would be their choice. So even if you, you know, you, even if they decided not to come, at least you're not going to feel too bad right. exactly. because you you did extend the invitation mm -hmm. it's up to them mm -hmm. right so like I, I guess i wouldn't know what people think about when they're planning a wedding maybe you can <laughs> enlighten me on this <laughs> for me i i think the one thing that i was really um like i really thought about like spending my money on would be the food and the photography because food oh, is yes. something that you know like what people said, are going to talk what, about it <laughs> yeah they'll talk about that forever people will talk about it for years <laughs> right <laughs> And you know, after spending all of your money on this, pictures and videos are all what you have. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. True. So, and that's what you're gonna show your kids someday, or you know, your grandkids. Back. Right. You're gonna look back because I'm sure, like, you can probably talk about it too, right? Because on your wedding day, it's gonna be a blur. You're gonna, you're not gonna have time. I like mm. I've heard, pe you know, people. They make sure you take the time to savor every moment. Uh -huh. like, I hear that no, all the time. No, because you're, you're so busy. Like everybody's like, oh, okay, it's time for you to put your makeup on. Yeah. All right, it's, it's picture it's time, picture time, picture time, picture time, picture time with. You know, it's, it's just so many things happening. At the end of the night, Larry and I were just like, I'm so tired. Like, I don't even remember what happened today. I don't even remember eating actually, because you're so busy that you're so, you're constantly, people are constantly coming to you and talking right. to you. See, like that's kind of like my point is like when, when people are planning a wedding, I feel like maybe not for us here, I don't know, but like for a lot of people, I feel like they focus so much on so many details, so many, yes. right? That at the end of the day, it's like, did it really matter? Right. Like, I don't know, you know? Right. To me though, when I, we would think about it, we'd be like, okay, is a mini money or micro wedding, is that even a possibility? Mm -hmm. And when, you know, my fiance Nico is in the wedding industry. And so he would come home from these weddings throughout COVID and be like, that is not the wedding I want. <laughs> Cause then we'd go through their footage and it'd just be like 10 people here. Aww. And then you hear the speech is like oh you know my family couldn't make it and whatever and like yeah good for them they got married but that is so sad for us yeah. because our families are huge and uh -huh. so when we would think about it like is this really the like 
the memories we want to create because this is what we have afterwards. Mm -hmm. This type of video, these types of pictures. Mm -hmm. That's what, like you said. Yeah, like right? if you look at the pictures, the, pi the pictures and the videos like, will tell the story. Right. right? right. Well, you can relive it through those. Exactly, videos. and so that's yeah. why we were like, okay, no, we can't have that yeah. because the people are important to us, and we don't want it to be like a bittersweet day. Although it probably will still be to some degree because you know we're still in the pandemic. <laughs> um, <laughs> And also, I'm buying a house. <laughs> so, so yes, there's still like give and take. Yeah. But that's it's kind of hard. Like that's kind of where we landed at with the compromises we had to make. And so, mm -hmm. like you said, food was very important to you. Mm -hmm. Food was super important to mm -hmm. us. So I was like, okay, if we want to have good food, what are our options? Right. Right. If we want to have like good food, but have this vibe, what are our options? So like mm -hmm. we considered doing it on a fake beach here in Vegas. Because you know we're in Vegas. There's no water. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we're running no out of water. water. We have we have fake beaches. We have yes. fake beaches. So it's a fake beach, and so we considered doing that, but it was like hundred dollars per person. Wow. Minimum. Min so I was like, that's insane. Yeah. And then the menu food. you get for the one hundred dollars, it's like two choices of entrees. That's it, and they're not even good. So I'm like, <laughs> Again, that is not acceptable. It's, it's the venue, like it's, you're paying. Yeah, exactly. Most of that is for the venue. So, so. we definitely compromise on that. So we like don't we our our venue is not our dream venue by any means, but the food is gonna be so good. So. <laughs> That's all that matters. That's all that matters. And yeah. the company, you know, and people like weddings are always like especially for you. You're saying your family are not here. They're gonna come from other places. So it's gonna be like a reunion at the same mm -hmm. time. So. Mm -hmm. It's Which I think be... that's how everyone's treating it, to be honest. <laughs> that's why they're all coming. <laughs> now, between weddings in the house, like, we really had to compromise on so much because, like I said, like, we already had decided not to buy the house and then we just ended up with this, like, huge blessing in our laps. Mm -hmm. So we really were like, well, we can't just throw it away. So, right. like, how do we adjust? And at that point, I couldn't be just like team house or team wedding. Like that was just not even like an option anymore because I want to get married, <laughs> but I also need a place to live. Right. And so <laughs> we really had to be like, okay, what is important to us? What are our priorities? Because everything else is pretty irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Like if we have the good food we want, mm -hmm. if we have the people that we want, if That's we're that pretty safe, yes. yeah. If we're safe and we create those memories, then you know it doesn't really matter what anything else. Yeah, I don't think so, anyone's gonna remember exactly. flowers or decoration. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. maybe, maybe some. <laughs> Again, that's what pictures like are I will, for. but like yeah, you yeah know, that's true. That's pictures, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we had that conversation actually because, like I said, Nico's in the wedding industry, <laughs> so he's very he's way pickier than me. He like, okay, like if there's a Zilla, it's a groomzilla. Okay, it's not bridezilla. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, Nico. But, <laughs> but no, he's not like that at all. I'm just saying he's way pickier mm -hmm. than me. So like when I was telling him like. I'm just gonna have a very simple bouquet because you're just gonna get rid of it. You literally toss it and yeah, give it away. Exactly. And so he was like, you can't have that. It has to be nice because the pictures and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, you know what? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> so, I'm not gonna argue with you on that. I mean, well, you can't be like ugly, but at right. the same time, I mean, I mean, at least it's presentable, I think. Yeah, it's yeah fine. because I don't think anyone, because when you're walking down the aisle, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I, I think the, some people. The bride's dress. Right. And her mm -hmm. face. And your face. Actually, no, I, I take that back. I look at the groom. <laughs> Me too. I always yeah. look at the groom. Look at so the that groom. was my point because I asked yeah. Nico, like I said, okay, at the last wedding we were at, do you even remember what the bridesmaids bouquets look like? Because that's where it yeah, started with exactly. the bridesmaids bouquets. And he was like, no. So I said, okay, do you even remember the bride's bouquet? And he was like, no. And I was like, that's my point. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna remember it. Like you said, you're just gonna talk exactly. it away. So, so I'm like, if we're happy about it, that's good enough. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we're the only you're ones not, who are gonna look at our pictures. Right. right. And right. you're not you're not there to like you're not gonna please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to be to honest, like in a video and stuff, usually when the bride is presented, it's the groom's <laughs> reaction. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. It's not, yeah. it's oh, not. Now I get it. Yeah. I was thinking, why, why, what do you mean you're looking at the groom? It's like, yes. But now I get I mean, it. I feel like I as soon as bride, I see the bride, I'm like, okay, what's yeah. the groom? What's the is groom? he crying? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then you cry too, right? Yeah. I cry. Yeah. I cry. Too, it's so. sweet. It's a yeah. sweet moment. It is sweet. I told Larry, I said, you better cry if you don't cry. I'm walking back. And then he cried. He did, but not with tears. It was just like the shoulder shrug. Yeah. I think he was trying to hold it back. He saw the camera, but <laughs> now I get it. Because when you were saying, I look at the groom and I'm like, what, but why? But then I, I get it. Too. I just yeah. like the way that the groom looks at the bride. I think mm -hmm. it's like, 
oh my gosh, like I'm marrying Mary this girl. Exactly, because yeah. you because you feel that love. Mm. When you see that reaction, you feel that yeah. love, right? So mm -hmm. that's like that's how we made these decisions. Because I was like, okay, will this bouquet really make people feel our love? <laughs> no, it won't. Like, yes, no, we look at me. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, well, let's focus on the moments that matter. If it's not focused on those priorities and the important parts, we're gonna yeah. like for me at least. Every time like we decide on something, I'm like, okay, we're gonna spend this much on favors that will probably end up in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> when we could have bought sure. a month of mortgage and so <laughs> or a chandelier I don't oh, know like well, you, you a couch away. I don't know, yeah, like, you know. That's, that's that's true that's what I was going to say okay. I was going to say so you have a house and you also have the things to put in the house exactly that you have to consider it's, so. it's both like <laughs> exciting because you're so excited mm -hmm. once in a lifetime but you're also excited what am I going to put in that house exactly. or so, like yes it's a very major decision mm -hmm. so like now I, I'm not even kidding like when I see something that we have to spend money on I'm literally visualizing what that can be in my house <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like okay what's the equivalent of that what can I buy for that what yes for that like that? literally with the favors yeah. what we originally were thinking of I was looking at it and I was like that could literally be like my whole bedroom right there <laughs> so that can't be the favor <laughs> I'm like that can't be that it that is so true though <laughs> if you have great food the favors I think you can right you know what I mean right I mean, and don't have favors that people can just throw away yeah that's yeah. not the plan at all yeah Chocolate, oh. like food, or yeah. So, the, so we're thinking. actually gonna have three favors, which I know is like ridiculous, <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna spoil okay, it. Okay, don't so. spoil it. Don't spoil it. <laughs> don't Catch spoil my it. wedding video one day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I don't we'll know. We'll post it. <laughs> yeah. We can have this conversation again <laughs> after my wedding, and so we can talk about this like for favors days and, days. and you know what made you choose your photographers. There's so many yes. like. Yes. And like the little, little details that yeah. we can talk about. So yeah. many little so decisions many. in mm. both parts, weddings and buying a house. And buying a house. Yeah, so right. literally we could just go on and on forever. So you guys are <laughs> going to have to come back. But for now, catch us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Eagle News Live. I'm Julianne Dosena. I'm DJ Evangelista. And I'm Anna Kui. And we'll see you again next time as we take a seat.